Well, I've nearly completed the long track to Eastbourne. Well, this will be the day when we finally see the Man Mountain, Marvin Andrews. I've been doing my homework there, yeah. I've got his autobiography off eBay. And in tribute to his Scottish roots, like I'm even changing at Hamden Park. But, uh, and just to see if he does play, if he's fit. He scored a spectacular diving header, didn't he, for the reserves? Past his own goalkeeper. So, uh, I wonder if he can change our look at Eastbourne, because frankly, usually coming down here is uh, <laughs> a long journey capped by a disappointment. All right, here comes my train. There's a testimonial from Barry Ferguson. The man who was banned from his country for flicking the V's at Tamarabend. Oh dear. Well, hopefully it's the right train. That's a weird feeling I might have just jumped on the first train and I might regret it a little bit. But, uh, I don't know, this is a sort of weird journey in a way. It's one of those that makes you wonder whether it's actually <laughs> why you do these things. Like, so you mean, grim both that like he's born. Free a lot of forest green on Tuesday. It is one of those ones that sort of quest the logic. I'm sort of putting my faith in the, the great gods of unpredictability in football that football doesn't always follow the, the route you expect it to because I have a bit of a of deja vu going down to Eastbourne after the way we played the last few times you were there it's a sensible way to spend the day get up six in the morning go home after midnight and feel that in the middle the point of it all is to, to see us do something bad again I don't know I suppose that's, that's supporting a team player isn't it right well, I just finished a pleasant part of the day which is Having a nice leisurely train drive down and chatting to Australia. Ooh, there's something appropriate. Uh, it's a bit disturbing, actually. Uh, my, uh, nice part of the day done. Pleasant train journey, reading Marvin Andrews' autobiography and chatting to Australians. And now I've done the pleasant part as well of going to the little village, the railway station, Pevensey. Lovely little village. Lots of history, lots of Norman history, William the Conqueror. Took his troops through there before their Battle of Hastings. And then there's a lovely little pub, the Heron. Wow. Quality chili. And then I have to go watch Wrexham and it all gets wrecked, probably. <laughs> the Eastbourne Ground is about 15 minutes walk over the fields to my left behind this little industrial estate. And yeah, so <laughs> a place we've had no joy at so far. They, uh, a lot of us have met reading Marvin Andrews' autobiography, so I'm getting a fairly bit eager to see what he's like. I blogged earlier this week saying, don't pick him, don't pick him. He's not supposed to be, you know, sort of very far along towards match fitness, despite playing for the reserves in midweek and playing well, apparently. And, I don't know, I just thought Saunders would be tempted to tinker after seeing Blackburn, Sinclair and Shearer getting tied up in knots on Tuesday and might alter things around a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure whether he should do until Andrews is properly fit. So you're going to get him off on the wrong foot. Having said that, he's <laughs> his autobiography. I know it's his autobiography. Maybe it's not the most accurate record, but uh, it does make constant reference to his prodigious heading ability and aggression. I know, those are certainly attributes we lacked on Tuesday. So who knows, maybe he's worth a punt after all. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the other interesting thing is, when we signed him, I started looking up for him on the internet, and I found a review of his autobiography on When Saturday Comes. When Saturday Comes, of course, is the football magazine par excellence. If you want thoughtful analysis, that's the place to go. Its review was critical, saying about his religious beliefs and how certain things he said were unpleasant. Well, he hasn't mentioned the, the oft-quoted notion that uh, he's anti-homosexuals. No comment to that so far. So, okay, can't comment on that. Uh, there's another section which he was heavily slated for. Uh, I did look rather distasteful in the review saying that he's put down the death of teammates, girlfriends, as the work of the devil. It was, the way it was written in the review didn't sound too pleasant. Uh, I've got to say, I've just read it in the book. And he's been taken out of context. I don't think it's quite as the reviewer put it. So I'm pleased about that. He comes over as a thoroughly good bloke in the book so far, anyway. Uh, so I'm not looking forward to seeing him play. Looking forward to making his acquaintance. Uh, should it be today? Probably no after the match, won't we? Let's be honest. I'll use the benefit of hindsight. I'll edit this bit out. Oh no, I won't. I'll give both 
possibilities and now leaving the one that works so um right here's comment number one well as long as there's wrong to bring andrews in clearly he'll be under fist and under fist and if he plays well it'll be a horrible mistake and it'll end in tears like his option number two it'll be a stroke of genius if someone does pit him andrews has clearly got massive pedigree and he'll give a big boost to the team go for it dino that should have covered all the angles that's where i'm heading he spawns ground looks a bit far away isn't it i'm gonna be tired out here anyway <laughs> i was saying a moment ago about the covering all angles <laughs> i started recording one of these at forest green and sort of lost the will to record as the evening went on there was one notable thing which maybe i should mention and it's a, it's a beautiful moment like the first cuckoo of spring i heard while in the car park of the travel lodge in strensham the first sheep shagger of the season shouted by a bloke out of his car window i don't know who asked it wasn't me honest i keep my private life to myself but uh yeah whoever it was at i'm not sure how he could tell their welshness exactly but yeah it was it was a beautiful moment just as denoted to me that the football season had begun of course that other thing that tells us the football season had begun is rexima on their travels losing god i'm a misery and what a realist We're on the way back now on the train at houston and that's a show which ended to you got marvin andrews to be honest played well he scored Part of a defence line four goals. I think the problem might be right through the back though with the Scottish shield not looking too confident in the air. And again we've lost to Eastbourne. It's more spirit than usual, I suppose, but still not great. The uh worrying thing is we saw down the table and I can't stop having that brought into perspective when as comes to the train now, walk through Houston station and see lots of people in black ball shirts and I think a few years ago we were in the same league as them. Chase has played Arsenal today, we played Eastbourne. Somebody looked, doesn't it?